Lots of independent competitors coming to Zello Pro to vie for a chance at that prestigious cha championship. Evil Sierra announced as being from Milwaukee. Needless to say, gets the favorable reaction, but I'm thinking that as, as the match progresses, this Milwaukee audience may not like her, her antics, may not like how she might take a shortcut. And she has such a height advantage over the four foot nine Heather Reckless. Heather Reckless with an uphill battle, but she can win this. But Sierra is going to use her strength. She's going to use her experience. And referee Dan Perch has, has his work cut out for him to not allow C evil Sierra to take advantage of this situation here. And he, that, that's what Reckless needs to do, but she did not get enough of a leverage. Schoolboy roll up, always a good idea to go for the pin, get that quick win. Hey, look at that leverage advantage. Here we go. Beautifully done by Heather Reckless and the drop to hold. Reckless needs to stay on that. Too close to the ropes. Beautifully done on that Oklahoma roll, but two, two count only. Through gets a drop kick on the knee. That was smart. She can take out. If they're the same size if they're both on the ground. Very smart by Heather Reckless to go after the knee. If Sierra can't walk, she is not fighting this one. Reckless perched up on the second rope, but took too much time. Reckless, a, a uh, student of the Black and the Brave wrestling camp. But she just went face first on the top rope. And Sierra, who gets the pump kick, that could be it right there. This could be it. Reckless looks like she is out. Nope, no, she's still in this. She's got an uphill battle to go through. Does Heather Reckless, but I do think she has a chance here. The Sierra, it's going to be a difficult, a difficult hill to climb. Sierra just driving that foot in. She's been a regular here at Zello Pro. We're used to seeing Sierra in multi-person matches. But here she is one-on-one, -on -one, and she is driving that knife-edge chop on the debuting. Heather Reckless misses that one, but you'll notice how Sierra kind of redirected so she didn't get chop, so she didn't chop the buckle. And Heather Reckless had quite the fury going, but she was cut off immediately with a knee right to the solar plexus, and this is what Sierra needs to do. She cannot let Reckless take it to the ropes, cannot let her start ping-ponging around. Statmare takeover. Handful of hair to keep her in position. Drives that knee right through. This could be it. I mean, that's just such a knockout blow. You hit her right in the nose. Two count only, says referee Dan Coach. Checking the nose, making sure she's not bleeding. Although somebody like Evil Sierra, she sees blood, that could power her up even further. Heather Reckless with a moniker like Devil's Favorite Princess, or Devil's Little Princess, rather. She sees blood, she may enjoy it too. Sierra wisely dragging Reckless to the center of the ring. Looking, oh yeah, I say, don't go for a pin here. Be wear down as a, yeah, there you go. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. Sierra using that weight advantage, the height advantage, the leverage advantage, you name it. Just laying it down on the diminutive, her diminutive opponent. But Reckless able to make her way to her feet, though. Do not ever count her out. Driving in those elbows. But Sierra with that. Now, might have had a handful of hair. Taking that shortcut. But referee Dan Perch, he's not having any of it. You talk to re referee Dan Perch for five seconds, like, he's the nicest guy ever. He is so, you know, northern Midwest. But he is not going to stand up for any rule breaking here in Zello Pro Wrestling. He takes his referee job very serious. And as Heather Reckless gets that elbow up in the corner on a charging Sierra, that's what she's got to do. Tornado DDT coming up, or guillotine. Here she goes. Yeah, you choke, you choke Sierra out. You cut off that oxygen, that oxygen flow to the brain. I don't care how much bigger and stronger you are than your opponent. You get that cut off, it's lights out for you. And she'll be out just long enough for Reckless to get to either get the pin or for the referee to check 
for the pin, but now, or uh, for for a knockout. But it was not meant to be as Sierra was able to use the ring, use the corner, buckle, power bomb. Center of the ring, beautifully done. Two count only, though. Reckless showing she has got an indestructible side after being able to kick out of that power bomb. And Sierra saying something to the referee that she, I don't want to do a stereotypical, did she break a nail, but I mean, it looked like she was favoring, favoring her thumb. And it looked like that's where she was poking around at. But just humiliating Reckless. I don't think this is Sierra. Not sure this is a good idea, but may, maybe those mind games in Sierra's no doubt. At first, Adam. Here we go. Side. Looking for that backbreaker. Reckless getting the knees up, though. What ring positioning by Reckless. Once again goes to the knee. Steps up. Gets the insecure. Usually I'm used to seeing the Insiguri done to a standing opponent. When you're four foot nine, sometimes you got to go for him when your opponent's down onto a knee. But Reckless hit it beautifully and Perch laying down the count. Both ladies do not answer to the count of 10. We've got a draw here. You got same idea as kind of a double count out. Double knockout if neither competitor can make her way to her feet. And Perch, we're up to seven. Okay, yeah, Sierra, they're both on their feet. Look at the athleticism there from Reckless. Gets a kick to the backside, forcing Sierra into the corner, splash into the corner. Reckless has got to keep it going. Oh, she got caught, though. If, if she didn't take a second, if she didn't take a second to come on to the fans, would this be the case? Well, she got, well, she did just get two jaws to the chest of Sierra. Sierra's stunned. Sierra's on the mat. The Devil's Little Princess unable to capitalize with a pinfall, but she's going up top. Can Reckless hit something from the top, stick it for the pin, and come away with her victory in her Zella Pro debut here at WrestleMania? She got it! High cross body! This could be it! Two count over. Sierra's still in this. If Heather Reckless weighed, I don't know, 10, 10 pounds more, if she were just a few inches taller and weighed 10 pounds more, would she have gotten the win with that top rope crossbody? It's a rhetorical question that I, I can't ask, but bottom line is Sierra was able to kick out, and this match continues. All of that palm strike. Reckless dazed in the corner. She's in trouble. Gets tripped up. Sierra with a full head of steam. Look at her. Drives both knees right on either side, either cheek, either side of the nose. Gets a short bomb out of the corner. This could be it right here. Reckless is still in this. And Sierra's getting frustrated. Reckless taking a, I'm hoping for her sake, she's taking a chance to breathe, taking a chance to get her wits back about her as Sierra had all of those double knees in the corner. Reckless slowly making her way to her feet. Sierra's right there, though. Sierra about to show just how evil she is. Got the front chancery. The arm around looking for a suplex. Lands on her feet, though. Float over. Devil's little princess into a schoolboy. No. Rolls through. Gets the sidekick. Kind of stutter stepped with it. Best short arm. Best short DDT. Low to the ground DDT can be just as effective. Hooking the leg. She got her. Re Heather Reckless with the victory in her debut as Zello Pro.